Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm your average gamer, We're back in SnowRunner today for episode 16 of my season 11 shenanigans. Um, yeah, you join me in my uh, International HX 520, which as you can probably have guessed I've just driven over here and then refueled from this fuel trailer which I also brought over here, um, ready to head up into the mountains to complete a lost car, the last task in season 11 which is very exciting um, I have already taken my lodestar up here up this mountain road just because I have driven it before but I just wanted to do a little test to make sure the terrain was okay um, so that's here ready to go to the first area that I need to um, in this task but I thought that I would do this drive in the international with you because it is quite a picturesque journey up into the mountains so I need to head to there and then turn right um, yeah I did a couple of other things off camera I brought my burlap over again because I saw it, it I felt very sorry for it sitting in my garage not doing anything and there is um a very short and simple contract that I found whilst looking through um, just involves driving around in a sort of a circuit up here I thought I'll use it for that um, just so we get to see it again and I get to try it again um, what else did I do yeah there was a sideboard trailer there and obviously the two flatbed semi trailers that I had uh, one that I found there and the other one that I obtained having done the missing movie props task over here I used my Tega took them both back to the uh, to the trailer store on Mountain Ridge and sold them and yeah sorry I took those two and the sidewall trailer back and sold them and I've now got my Tega where is it there it is parked up next to the uh, movie star trailer ready to deliver that I've got my Voron Plus crane just parked there where I refueled it from the off-road fuel trailer that I brought over there. So that's just parked there ready. I don't know if I'll be using that on this map or have to use it on the other map yet. Um, that we'll look into after I've done the task and that contract. And I've also got my Voron grad over here with the uh, four-slot trailer that I used to repair the repair station. Um, yeah, again that probably will be used elsewhere but it's that's for the future so as for now why don't we get cracking on this journey as I say this is a very picturesque journey up into the uh, up into the mountains the lodestar has got its fuel trailer with it so when I get this up there I can always refuel it from that depending on how much fuel I've used but yeah as you can see rather a beautiful spot yeah I can't believe we've managed to complete all of the tasks so far in this region it's great progress um, with regard to the remaining contracts, of which there are still quite a few, um, I know I'm going to have to do some garbage collection, which I think will involve using a crane, so my Voron will be coming in handy for that. Um, I've got two watchtowers on this map that I need to uh, that I'll need to build. Um, there's also two cabins, at least two cabins on the other map, and on two on this map that need to be built as well so uh, as I think I said in the last episode it's m it's more going to be using the uh, the cargo that I can get from the other map for those but uh, yeah I've not um, I've not looked into those just yet wanted to get these um, out of the way first here we go another picturesque spot muddy spot as well by the look of it here we go 
go. So that we get so. Yeah, as I say, I, t I just I when I took things back when I was delivered those trailers, just in order for a quick way to refuel the Tiger after I delivered the semi trailers back. I just put it into the garage and when I was in there I just saw my bird axe sitting in there and I thought I could technically use the the, uh, the load star for that simple scouting contract but uh, I thought no I'll, I'll get the bird axe out again and uh, we'll, we'll give her another shot. is after all a truck that not only your good selves but also I haven't uh, used too much for a little while on this region look at this heading up into the wilds so yeah so I'm looking forward to using that again as I say it shouldn't be too ta uh, taxing a, a contract for it it's just basically got a drive around in a circuit but it's it's dependent on the terrain and you may you may get a chance to see the uh, the extent of its lack of um, power to weight ratio which is the main issue that I have with it which is a shame but uh, all in good time all in good time Look at this for a spot. Let's just keep heading up through the rocks. It does well this international, I must say. I praised it the other day and I shall praise it again not the best with really heavy loads on board but as a solo car rescuer or scout rescuer it's really really rather effective aha we are just about here so what I will do is just stop this here switch that off refuel from the scout fuel carrier and then Jump into the Lodestar. Come on, little Lodestar. Another beautiful spot. There we go. It's bouncing through. I have to be careful in the load in the. Uh, International coming through there. Right. Stage completed. Go to the second area. So that is. Oh, it's down there. So, alright. Oh that looked a little more precarious on the map. Perhaps it is. We shall soon find out. Oh, my goodness me. Right, let's go into low gear here and just be very gentle. Right, that's the second area. And the third one is just over there by the look of it. Look at that. Fantastic. What a beautiful region. Yeah, that's a bridge. That's the bridge that I had to build. That, yeah, that took me, what was it? Two wooden planks and one long logs. And that's the only bridge, bridge that they could build with it. Which seems a little... Uh, a little much. All oh, right, so... Deliver Khan Marshall to the tourist area park, village parking lot. Hummer H2, that's a little confusing. Let me just switch off. 
Let's go to that. Does that mean that's the only thing that I need to deliver then? I'm not sure where the Khan Marshal comes into that. Strange, but now I've got to basically get this truck down that little route where I just took the lodestar. Which could be tricky. Chunk of ice there. Again, I think we'll very much be using low gear here. Alright, there we are. Let's see about extricating this Hummer from wherever these people managed to, uh, to get it stuck. Maneuvering to get into the right, uh, into the right spot. Sorry about the camera, camera angle, folks. Right, if I just, if I just, let's try it from there. Right, controlled evacuator. Just extend it back all the way and tip her up like so. Attach the winch. Alright, come on, little Hummer. Don't tip over or do anything silly. This is going to look a little ugly. But let's just drive forward onto a little bit of flatter ground. Ooh, he says. See if I can tip that a little more. Right, let's attach the winch again, but to the other side of the rear bumper. Go on, just a little bit more. Up you go. Oh dear. No, that's not good, is it? Let's... Let's try that again. Right, let's try it from there. Stop. There we go. Right. Is there any way that I can... Oh yes, I can move the winch, can't I? If I move the winch over there... Get 
getting further and further away from uh, What is going on here? Right, let me just... Let me just do a little bit of readjustment. Bear with me, folks. Right, attach winch. Yes, I got it on there. At long last. Right, okay. So I need to deliver this to there. Right, so what I'll do is I'll head down here, pass me burlack, to the main road, and then down, and I can just go through maybe that little bit there. Yeah, let's do that. God oh dear, sorry about that folks, that was, uh, I've been doing really well with that, using that evacuator, but I suppose it's, it's all dependent, it's much easier if you've got a central winch point on what you're winching onto the back. That's my, that's my excuse for having trouble there. Plus obviously you've got terrain angles and so on. Oh, big rock there. There's me lovely little burlack. Right. Now we're back on the terra firma. Let's get back to the... Uh, get this to the delivery point. As I say, I'm not entirely sure why the task says deliver Khan Marshall. That's what's worrying me. Does that mean I've got to deliver something else? Or is it just the wording of the contract, uh, sorry, the wording of the task is wonky? I wonder. That's what I'm hoping, in a way. Because this is obviously, there's the symbol over the target vehicle Hummer on the back. And there's the symbol of the delivery point. So... I'm guessing we're on the right lines. It's a lot easier to get in here without my... Uh, my Voron grad being in the way because I parked it like an idiot. If I drive over that repair point, will that repair this as well? Repair the... No, it doesn't. Oh, well. Ah, there's my Tiger. Smash through the fence again. Right. This wasn't too bad, this little bit of ground, if I recall. Let's go up over this rock. Oh dear, that was a bad idea. Oh dear. Right. So is this going to be 
the last task complete or is it just fooling me? Here we go folks. Thanks for the help, at least no one got hurt. Here's your reward. 24 grand, lovely. Alright, so that was all I needed to do. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I thought there was a way through there, but there's someone's put a picnic table in the way. Let me just get this back to the uh, to the fuel trailer that I've got in the uh, garage, uh, sorry, in that factory complex. Just fuel this up, park it up, and then uh, I can switch back to my burlack and we can look at that contract. As I say, if, if for some bizarre reason the burlap is incapable of doing this task I know that I have got my lodestar up in the same area so but I'm yeah, I'm confident that the burlap will be fine right where did I put the fuel trailer there it is Okay, let's just refuel that, put her in front and park her up. There we go. Right, so, which, now it was in, which was it, yes, it was in this one? Yeah, a cliffside road. We need to check out the Northern Mountain Trail, it's a difficult and dangerous route, so you're the only one who can handle the job well. Of course, you'll be compensated accordingly. Well, let's hope so. Seven and a half grand. Right, so let's start that. And then I need to switch to, where is it? Burlack. Okay, come on to the burlack. Or indeed, chunky burlack. Let's see what you're made of. So as you can see, it's not it's not the swiftest of transportation, but we knew that already. Certainly, it's much better than it was when I first used it before I put the highway gearbox on it. But for a vehicle that has got such chunky tyres and is well, it's got probably the best standard tyres of any in-game vehicle. I think it would have to have to have, apart from the fact they're not snow tyres. But uh, it's just—it's all about the power, or indeed the lack of it with this vehicle. Ooh, got a little wet patch. What a scene that is. Right, let's bump our way through here. Right, that's point number two. Which is the best way to get. Oh, oh sorry, that ground was a little bit soft there, wasn't expecting that. 
So let's just head. Let's put it in low gear and put a bit of diff lock on. Just to get through this bit. And we're through. Okay, so now I'm going to be heading back the way I came up that mountain route, aren't I? I think, actually, let me just check. Yes, it is. Go on. Keep going. Straddle that rock. Should be able to. Yeah, plenty of ground clearance. You see, there's so much in favour. It's up. Just it's just frustrating, folks. There's so much in favour of this vehicle, but the thing that they've decided, the developers decided not to include, was a particularly great engine. So. If you look at every single in-game vehicle, they're all they all have at least one specific drawback. Right, the uh, as I've said many many times, the uh, the ANK trucks are very very capable trucks, but their fuel consumption is so horrendous on them that uh, using them on a map where there isn't readily available fuel is almost not worth it but the capability of the truck is such that it makes you want to that's the uh, that's yes, it's swings and roundabouts I guess folks isn't it really right let's head on down here Oops. Oh, the old trailer's going for a little bounce around. down right let's just get through this snowy bit let's see I think I've got to head over the bridge that I built if my memory serves me correctly which I'm not entirely sure it does right so yes I need to turn right here I don't know folks, what do you think? Am I being too harsh on this vehicle? Have I been too harsh on it? I love the way it looks, especially with this red, white and blue paint job. It could be so easily spoilt with the, uh, the range of uh, modified vehicles that you can use. But when you step back into something like this, it's... Uh, Maybe that's a factor. Ooh, this beautiful rocky bit. But precarious rocky bit. Let's go that way. And bump up this little ridge. Over you go. There we go. Alright, that's that area complete. Where's the bridge? I think it's just up over the next... Uh, this next little crest. How about that for a view? Where are we? Right, aha, there's the bridge. 
Can I drive across this without causing a catastrophe? I've managed it. Oh, there's me load star. I was thinking, shall I fuel up from that? It's like, no Dave, you're towing some behind you. Alright, stage completed. So this should be... The last... One. I think there were only seven. And this would be more or less where I started. Yes. The route was more challenging than I'd thought, but you're an ace driver if ever I saw one. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for being brave and skilled enough. Here's your reward. You're quite welcome. Right, let me just... Uh Actually, let me just move this down to the main road. Let's just pop that. Let's just, right, let's switch off and just refuel that from the trailer. It's not actually... I thought I'd bought an off-road scout trailer. Maybe that's one that I've... Oh, did I? Oh, yeah, I think I collected this trailer from somewhere on the map. Where was it that I picked that up from? Let's just put that map there. Oh, yeah, I think it was here. I brought this out to the factory. Just to have a little scout around. There was a scout field trailer there, so I think that's what this is towing. Um... Is it what it's time? Yeah, I think it is. But, uh, right, first things first, let me just check something. So we should have all ticks on this list, folks. And we do. So that is definitely all the tasks in this region complete. Happy days. So I think what I'm going to do next is... Whoops is deliver this trailer where it needs to go and that is this because the, all of these are movie related in Barrow Pictures so deliver to the town movie set Mountain Ridge should we go through that gateway saddle low is required right this is it, folks. What a trader that is. How are we doing for petrol? I can refuel. I'll refuel on my way out. I want to head up that main road there so actually what I think I'll do is I'll just refuel from that and I'll just reverse up and I will go out this entrance it does feel quite heavy on the back I must say just go steadily out of here. Right, let's get into high gear. Oh, sorry, into auto, full auto. Let's head back through the gateway. This gateway. I don't think you've ever been through this gateway with me, folks. It's the one. It's at the other end of the bridge that I uh, had to build on Manning Ridge. Is it? Yes, it is, yeah. Sorry, I'm thinking I was having another map in my head there. But, uh, yeah.
And this will be... How are we doing for time? Yeah, 35 minutes. This, uh, this will be a fitting end way to end this particular episode, I think. Here's me Burlac. Give him a little toot to say hello. Travel to Mountain Ridge. Oh snap, there it is. Let's see where I have to deliver it. I think I know where I've got to deliver it. Come on. Skip that scene. And I need to deliver it. Oh right, yes, yeah, so it's up there. Okay, so just... Quite a simple journey, but a very pleasurable one. So... How am I going to get that round that corner? With some nifty manoeuvring, perhaps. Yeah, just bumped over the barrier, that was fine. And here we are, back on Mountain Ridge. As I say, still got a fair few contracts to do on this map as well. So, that's what I will be thinking about now that all the tasks are done. as to whether or not I should complete the ones on this map first. Oh, I did remember, folks. I did remember. There we go. Oh. Is that the road sign? Honestly. Right. Let's head on up to the old movie set. Yeah, as I say, I thought originally where on that cutscene for this map it shows this being towed by a Navistar, I thought that it would need saddle high originally, but I'm glad that it only needs a saddle low. This uh, this tag has proven uh, very capable of towing it, so uh, it does feel a lot heavier than it did when it had the even with four cargo on the back of a semi-trailer. Right, we're nearly here, folks. It's just a question of how do I get in there. It's got to be this way. Let's put it in high gear just for uh, manoeuvring purposes. And there we go. Let's swing it around that way. One movie star trailer delivered. Comfort comes first. Now we can start getting the set ready. Happy days. Oops. Right, let's just switch off and see what that unlocks on that string. Right, deliver to the town movie set. Construction rig semi trailer. All oh, right, so that's a super heavy trailer, isn't it? Let's just look and see where that is on the map. Does it say where that is? I thought I'd seen one. Where did I see it? Where did I see that parked? 
Now there's a question. Am I going mad? I think the answer to that is definitely yes, but... Uh, I cannot remember where I saw that. But anyway, I'll need to sort out a vehicle with a saddle high on it. But let's just take a quick look. How are we doing for time? Yeah, 40 minutes, so... Actually, bear with me. Yeah, let's look at the contracts here. So, I need to build that cabin. Oops. And that cabin there. That's on the first map. More cabins on this map. Service spare parts times three. It says truck with crane, they may be may have been dropped somewhere. Delivered to the tall area, curtain side trailer. Alright, okay. Lower lift, oh that's that maintenance trailer. So there's yeah, there's plenty of stuff, plenty of tasks. Oh that's there's the t contract with the rail sections. And that's on by the lake. So that's where I've got to deliver that construction rig semi-trailer. But that's still the only mission unlocked on that. That's on by the lake. That's on by the lake. Whoops. And they're the only two unlocked at the moment. So yeah, I may... What do I need for these? Two wooden planks and two consumables, so I can use a two slot trailer. One short logs and three wooden planks. I can get the short logs on the tr just on the truck, I can head up there to that log station, that's not a problem, and get the wooden planks from there. And the wooden planks, but consumables are from there. Hmm. Yeah, I may, uh, I may start polishing off some contracts on this map, but that will involve me bringing back some trucks from the other map for the time being. Three wooden planks, one medium logs. Again, I can put the logs on the truck and take a trailer with me. Oops. Two medium planks, that's four slots, isn't it? And one cement. So again, that's five slots as well. Let's look, let me just check on this map. All oh, right, so it just wants me to pick those up from there. Right, that's sorry folks. I shall uh, I shall stop thinking out loud and uh, bring this episode to an end. So uh, so yeah that's been very successful. The last task complete. Back in me burlack for another contract. And we finally delivered the movie stars trailer. And a very snazzy looking thing it is too. I think I've got to take this to various points around the map, to all the different sets on the two different maps. But, uh, yeah, we know we've done the first one, so that's happy days. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed that, folks. Um, if you could hit the like button, that would be fantastic. And uh, please do subscribe to my channel. Plenty more contracts to be, uh, to be getting along with. And uh, feel free to comment as well. That's uh, always welcome. So uh, I'll just say uh, thank you very much again for watching and uh, I will see you all on the next one. Cheerio.